Hello! In this video, I'm showing you how to rebind or pair back together this Honeywell programmer back to its receiver unit. So if you have the little red light on on the receiver unit and that programmer is no longer turning the heating on, it's most likely that you have lost the connection between the two units. And it's just a case of repairing them back together. It's a fairly simple process. I'm going to go through that with you in a simple, easy to follow steps. I'm also going to go through a few other checks you can try and do to get your heating back on again. If after binding it back together, they're still not working, then at the end of this video, I'll go through one last check you can do before you go to buying yourself a new programmer. Now, if at the end of this video, you find your programmer is faulty and you need a new one, then you'll find links to the Honeywell T3R and T4R down below. And those are our replacement programmers right now. Of course, there may be new ones in the future, along with alternative programmers as well. And of course, you can find those videos on my website, along with links directly to them. Right, now let's quickly whiz through my intro and get on with showing you how to rebind this programmer. My name is Mark Ballard, and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video useful at all, then please give me a little bit of feedback by clicking on the thumbs up, and that will also help others to find the video. You can click on subscribe if you think the video is useful, and click on the bell if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video. And of course, share the video with your friends. I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who buys me a cup of coffee and leaves a small donation in my toolbox fund. It is really appreciated, and it does really help me to make more videos, which are hopefully helpful help you. Right, now let's get on with this video. So here's the receiver and the programmer. And there's a few checks that we want to do before we go rebinding it to make sure that the units aren't faulty. You can see the receiver unit has a red light on it. And that means that the receiver unit is not receiving a signal from the programmer or the signal is very poor. So the first check that we want to do is to press the button on the front of the receiver and then the green light should come on and then you should hear a click in the receiver unit. That should then turn your heating on. If you do have any other time controls, then make sure those are also turned on and now make sure that your boiler is running. Once you've done that, you can then press the button again to turn the heating off and then the green light will go out and then the boiler and heating should go off. Just a quick note, if you want to put your heating on because you're really cold, you can just push the button. Obviously the green light comes on, that'll bring your heating on. And when you want to turn your heating off, you can then just push the button again to turn the heating off. And that's perfectly okay to do that. We also want to check the programmer. So have your programmer near to the receive unit and then press the off button and make sure that it says off in the display. And then press the manual button to turn the heating on and then put the temperature up Put it up several degrees above the room temperature. Make sure you see the flame there. You should also see the radio symbol flashing to indicate that it's sending the signal to the receiver unit. We should then see the green light come on on the receiver unit. If the green light doesn't come on, then it probably means that we have lost the binding between the two units or that one of them is faulty. You could just repeat turn the heating on and off to make sure that they are not talking to each other. Now there is one last thing we should do before we go rebinding and that's just to check the batteries. Now, if we have got flat batteries in the unit, then we normally get a battery symbol coming up in the display just here. You can take the batteries out and then replace them with some new ones and then go through the process of turning the heating off and then turn the heating back on again to see if the programmer is now talking to the receiver unit. If it's not, the next step is to rebind the two units. Let's pair the two units back together again. Another quick note, if your program is working correctly, but you do have the red light on, then this is generally a indication that you've got a poor signal. Now this is normally down to the batteries, or this could be because your program is too far away from the receive unit. But to turn the red light out, it's just a case of turning the mains power off. So switch the switch off on the wall or unplug it, that will then depower it. And then when you switch it back on, the red light should be off. If the red light comes back on again after a short time, then it means that you've got a poor signal or no signal at all coming from the programmer. Now rebinding is pretty straightforward and I'm gonna go through that with you now. So the first thing we need to do is to press and hold the button in on the receive unit. When it gets to five seconds, the red light will start flashing. Half a second on and then half a second off. But keep holding the button in until the red light starts flashing quickly. And there you go. We can now see that the red light has started flashing very quickly. And now we've cleared all the old binding settings from the receiver unit. So now what we need to do is to press and hold the button again. Hold it in for five seconds until the light stops blinking and starts flashing on and off 
half second on and then half second off. Now the receive unit is in binding mode and it's looking for a signal to come from the programmer. Now we need to put the programmer into binding mode. So we want to make sure that the programmer is off. So press the off button and look for off in the display. Now we need to press three buttons all at the same time. And that's the temperature up button, temperature down and the program back button. So press all three of these all at the same time, hold them in. And then we should see this come up on the display. If you don't see this, then you've gone to the wrong place and press the off button and go back again. Now all we need to do is press the OK button. So I'll press OK and then we'll see the red light will stop flashing on the receive unit. And now it sends a signal to the receive unit and it's linked the two together. Now if I press the off button, that would take me back to the normal display and now our unit is ready to be used. So if I press manual and then going to put the temperature up. So there we are, manual is now selected. And then I'm going to press the up arrow to increase the temperature. There we are, we can see the flame has come on the display. You can see the little symbol saying it's sending the signal and the green light has come on. And then that should now bring our boiler on. And there we go, that's pretty straightforward. Let's just turn it off again, press the off button. And there we go, you can see the green light has gone out. And that's it. The programmer is bound back to the receiver unit. Now, if the programmer is turning the green light on and off, but there's not turn the boiler on and off, then make sure that there are no other heating controls in line. So make sure if you do have any other way of turning heating on and off, that that is turned on. And if you don't hear a click in the receiver unit, then it's most likely that the receiver unit is faulty. And I've come across this several times with these little receiver units, the switch inside stops working. The green light comes on, but the switch inside isn't actually switching. So it doesn't bring your boiler on. So listen for that clear distinctive click when the green light comes on. You'll also hear a click when the green light goes off. So if your green light is coming on and going off when you turn your heating on and off, but the boiler is not coming on and you're not hearing that click, then I'm afraid there's not a lot you can do. You can try tapping the receiver unit and you may find you hear the click then and the boiler comes on. But because this is an electrical fault inside the receiver, there's nothing you can do to fix that. And then it's a case of replacing both the units. And these wireless programmers are sold together as a pair with the receiver unit and the programmer. So I do hope my video has been helpful to you. If you do find you need a new programmer, then you'll find links to the Honeywell T3R and T4R down below. And those are our replacement programmers right now. Of course, there may be new ones in the future, along with alternative programmers as well. And of course, you can find those videos on my website along with links directly to them. Okay, that's about it then. So you can click on the video just here if you want to watch my next video. You can click on the subscribe, click on the like. And of course, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, yes, always my toolbox fund and it's always really appreciated. Bye for now.